Good afternoon, welcome to Manika. Yes, we'll start discussing the OMAS paper, GS paper. Okay. So we'll go one by question, one by one question. First, in which of the following provisions of Indian constitution does India have a bearing on education? Right. The fifth schedule, sixth schedule, seventh schedule, fundamental rights and related principle of state policy. Right. We know that it is a fundamental right, right to education is a fundamental right under article 21A and it was earlier it was in DPSP. So, and every, every entries are mentioned in 7th schedule, it may be state list, concurrent list and union list. So, at least these three are in these three questions you are right, definitely. This, so, 3, 4, 5 are right. Next question is whether it is mentioned in the 5th schedule or 6th schedule. 5th schedule talks about the development of tribal areas and 6th schedule it is about the ATMM states, northeastern states. So, when you talk about development, it is not only about, uh, only about infrastructure, it is also about education, health and overall development. So, education is included in that. So based on that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all, if we talk about tribal development, then obviously education is included. So all the options are correct. D is the right answer, okay. <coughs> Next question. With, with reference to curative petition, consider the following statements. A curative petition is not supported by Indian constitution, no it is not like that, it is there, otherwise it is supported by Indian constitution under article 137, right, Eurotic petition is supported by Indian constitution, article 137 of Indian constitution, so 1 and 3, either 1 is right or 3 is right, so they can stand together, obviously, just by applying this logic, these two statements are opposite to each other. So, in any particular question, if there is 1 and 3, then option, those options are wrong. So, obviously, B and D are wrong. Next, 2, 3, 4, a curative petition is made after the review petition is rejected. A curative petition is supported by article 137. Curative petition is made within 3 weeks. See, yes. Curative petition is made after the review petition is rejected. Once a verdict came, then review petition is given. After that, security petition comes. So it is a long process. Obviously, it is a long process. It cannot be, can never be within three weeks. Three weeks of the date of judgment. Date of judgment passed. Again, there will be, again, just by after the date of
okay with reference to curative condition consider the following statements right the curative condition is not supported by indian constitution the curative condition is made after the review condition is rejected the curative condition is supported by article 137 of the indian constitution see statement 1 and statement 3 both are opposite to each other here it is not supported here it is given a particular article so any course any option where 1 and 3 together exist that option is wrong so obviously even if you don't know anything about this question b and d are wrong next you have whether 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 are obviously right we don't have to think anything because they are in a and c next is whether 4 is right or not wrong the curative petition is made within three weeks from the date of the judgment passed see what is as 2 and 3 are right so curative petition is made after review petition is rejected that means a verdict will come then there will be review petition then review petition is rejected then after then after that curative, curative petition will be filed so obviously these three weeks is very small time right very i mean it's it cannot be possible right it is very short period so four obviously wrong so two and three is the right answers so C is the right answer. Next question number three: The concept of vicious cycle of poverty, J.M. Keynes, Karl Marx, J. Smil, Ragnar, Nogse. So these things, J. Smil has given the concept of freedom, freedom of speech. He is not an economist. Karl Marx has given economic determinism. That means everything is based on economy. That is the um, next is J.M. Keynes is an economist. This vicious cycle is given by Ragnar, Nogse is the Mm, vicious cycle of poverty means suppose you are in poverty then nutrition will not be proper then your health issues will be there then again you will be in poverty or you have you are in poverty you are in you cannot provide proper, proper education lack of, lack of proper education means lack of employment then there will be again there will be poverty these are vicious cycle of poverty or in economy also if there is lack of capital then poverty then lack of capital that's why there is no profit then Money makes money and poverty makes poverty. That is, this is a vicious cycle of poverty. So, B is the answer. Next, components of human development index are longevity, infant mortality, educational attainment, and descent standard of living. See, here there are three options are right. Any three. One is wrong. So, we have, in, in case of SDI, we have life expectancy at birth. Life expectancy at birth, right? This is there. So, instead of that, we can write longevity. There is no mention of infant mortality. So, we can cut it. Education attainment, yes, and distant standard of living. These three are included. So, answer will be uh, 1, 3, 4. 1, 3, 4 answer uh, B is the right answer. So, far as SDI is concerned, D is the right answer. Okay. Human Development Index. Then question number 5. Zero based budgeting. Each item of expenditure is challenged in pre-budget review. This is right. In case of zero, pre-budget review means every expenditure is challenged. It starts from zero, right? Whether it is, uh, uh, next is, no minimum level of expenditure is allowed to be taken as taken no minimum level of expenditure is allowed to be taken as given yes because it zero visiting means everything will consider from zero it has uh, so there is no minimum level of expenditure you can allocate anything to any to any dimension any any amount of money can be allocated oh sorry this question is uh, which of the following statements are relevant in zero Achha, relevant the question is about relevance uh, the question is about relevance. Is item of expenditure challenged in pre-budget review? Yes, pre-budget review is highly essential in case of zero budget budgeting. Next, no minimum level of expenditure is allowed to be taken, allowed to be taken as given. Next is expenditure of each item is increased marginally. No, no such things. Uh, increased marginally. Now this, this is completely wrong. Why? Because if the, there is marginal increase, then there is no concept of budgeting itself, right? 
marginal increase is very small increase marginal very increase but we have a growth of 7% so generally it will not happen another thing is that if we just increase marginally then what is the purpose of this budgeting just based on growth and uh, just based on the um, uh, growth and income of revenues just increase the percentage of any for example health so this is obviously this is wrong this statement is wrong most item of expenditure is taken for granted why most 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 items of expenditure are taken for granted just by language you can these two sentences you may be confused but these two sentences especially the four and why it will trend most of the expenditure is taken for granted when budget is prepared for the next year why it will be taken for granted no 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 item is taken for granted everything is essential so just by language this three and four are incorrect three and four are incorrect so any statement where three so three is the fully incorrect three statements so any where there is three this is wrong this is wrong four is also wrong because nothing is taken as granted so one and two are right so no minimum level of expenditure is allowed mm, okay when yes one and two options are right this is the right answer we will see that how just by logic which questions can be solved and just by analysis if certain questions can be solved right during the planning period highest growth rate was achieved during what highest highest growth rate that is achieved during the uh, during the upa2 resign right upa2 resign during uh, manmohan singh uh, when the manmohan singh was the prime minister that is the 10th plan okay 10th plan highest uh, uh, highest growth rate was achieved during the 10th plan after that after that the world economic crisis happened and again the growth gone down around 9 to 10% growth was achieved in doubt in those period 10th plan so b is the answer which is the most popular definition of sustainable development this is given a brownland report it is a very common question it is a previous year question and multiple times it is asked in 1985 around it is brownland report has came that has given the concept of sustainable development that is that is the environmentally friendly development so brownland report is a direct question you may it is you, may, you will find it in previous year ssc questions and it is a very common question what is the meaning by farm mechanization using only machines wherever you see only then chances then they are wrong right maximum maximum case they are wrong only machines right every every government schemes or policies they have a broad dimension they never limited to a particular dimension they have a broad dimension right only machines it's not only machines if it is not only machine then what replacement of biological sources of energy by the mechanical sources of energy on farm Farm mechanization, there is no concept of energy, it's about mechanization. So, obviously, just by language, it is also wrong. Using machine tractors, tubes, and uh, wait for education or productions, using machine tractors, tubes, fertilizers, etc., besides soil testing, certified seeds. This is right, but this is more right because more dimensions are covered, like certified seeds, that is also one thing, and also soil testing, that, is, that can be done by mechanization. Obviously, so this D option will be the most comprehensive and right answer regarding farm mechanization. Then consider the following statements which are the following financial intermediaries. Financial intermediaries means anything that connects the two consumers, right? Or two entities. It may be is made, it may be corporations and, and citizens, or it may be some companies and citizens, or maybe citizens and citizens, they can be called as financial intermediaries. So, where you can take loan or where you can deposit something, RBI is there, uh, SBI, NAVAR, LIC, all, all the four are considered as financial intermediaries. Okay. So, A is the answer. What is the frequency? What is the frequency of consumer price index? It is monthly. CPI, it is the CPI inflation, consumer price index. Remember, it is both for goods and services, right? Inflation is a common question, and goods and services. And we have WPI, that is wholesale price index, that is released by Office of Economic Advisor. 
it is only for goods not for services wpa is only for goods because you cannot suppose you are purchasing a mobile it is coming through national level distributor state level distributor right um, the bhuvneshwar distributor or then the retailer what in case of you are purchasing biryani then you are directly purchasing from the, from the restaurant not from any other sources so it is it is monthly and it is for goods right cpi and wpi index next on what does the economy development on what the, on what does the economy development depend natural resources yes because of natural resources uh, um, uh, our economy for example because the arab countries are rich because of the natural resources that is oil then capital formation size of the market market is also capital formation yes how much how much capital is formed for example uh, for example economy that is for example making breeze making road making industries suppose you are investing in industries industrialization they generate capital right they are long term expenditure in case of long term long term expenditure capital is formed so that economic development that brings economic development the more and more government invest in long term expenditures capital will be formed size of the market that is also independent india size of market because india is a big size of india is a large market that's why many other countries are exporting to this place and we are imposing taxes so that all depend on economic development which the following is true is true with respect to the monetary approach of the balance of payment monetary approach when you talk about the concept approach that means in that lens you are observing that particular phenomenon so it is view as the balance of payment as an essentially monetary phenomenon that means ek that means balance of payment is called that is export minus import so it is monetary phenomenon or fiscal phenomenon here it is considering a monetary phenomenon obviously when any particular when a particular theory arises a particular thing particular theory approach approach means in that lens you are considering the whole process so you of why that approach so that means that you realize that it is generally influenced by this approach a balance of payment deficit results from excess of demand of money in the in the nation excess excess demand of money excess demand of money means excess demand of money means money become stronger right when money become stronger balance of payment deficit deficit means your in import are more than the import are more than the export import are more than the export when import are more then we have to pay dollar so demand of dollar increases not the money right when import are more because for import we need dollars so second statement is wrong balance of payment surplus balance of payment surplus results from excess supply of money excess supply of money makes rupee weak demand then balance of payment surplus no balance of payments means when when exports are more not when money supply is more right exports need to be more so this it is wrong this is not the result just we will increase the money supply in the market that means export will not increase for to increase the export we need quality of goods quality goods right and markets balance of payments this this balance of payment disequilibrium are not automatically corrected in the long run in the long run okay balance of payment disequilibrium are not automatically corrected in the long run no in long run everything is getting correct get corrected why because the reason is this when for example uh, suppose uh, suppose rupee is strong rupee is strong means demand of demand of dollar is high rupee becomes strong when rupee becomes strong import becomes costlier right so people start using the domestic domestic goods so that is a negative impact on the uses of goods so gradually again the demand of rupee decreases right so it's like a wave so 
not automatically corrected. So this is wrong. This is automatically corrected. So it is a essentially monetary approach. Next, the exchange rate is kept in the same in all parts of market by exchange arbitrage, interest arbitrage, hazing, or speculation. Speculation means to gain something by spec by speculating something, right? Interest arbitrage means you will gain money by buying some interest. So generally, exchange rate means it is when kept same in all parts of the market. So here answer is exchange. Exchange means uh, you have to uh, in that case rate is same. Here rate is different. That's why that is interest arbitrage. You are just uh, gaining just because of change in interest rate. So these are some uh, share market terminologies. So A is the answer. Which of the following score is correct in the context of white ATMs, automated tailor machines? ATMs are owned by foreign companies. Wrong. wrong. It, white ATMs, right? This is a common question in economy since last three four years. ATM not owned by banks, but by private ATM services providers. Yes, this is right. This is called as white. This is the definition of white ATM actually. White ATM means where uh, ATMs are not owned by banks, but by some third party ATM providers that are the, they are the, uh, by the bank, bought by private ATM service providers. Yes, that is, that is the definition. Outsource ATM service by banks, ATMs name out of bank, sponsor bank, ATM machine is owned by the bank, not owned by the bank. So this is wrong and ATMs are owned by the government, no government never owns such type of ATMs. B is the right answer directly it is white ATMs. Next which of the following statements imagine, imagine is RBI will opt to sell government securities. RBI will opt to sell government securities. Government when RBI will sell government securities because when money in the market is high, if when money becomes high then RBI sell some securities and pull out money from the market. When the forex foreign fund inflow is meek, then when it is weak, there is no need. That means money is not there, too much money is not there. When there is enormous foreign 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 funds inflow in the Indian economy, when there is enormous foreign funds, foreign funds inflow, then chances of that inflation will increase then RBI will pull out some money from the market. So, B is the answer. When banks have low liquidity and low liquidity, if banks have low liquidity and need liquidity, why you need to sell government securities? Then you will, so selling some government securities means you will bring money from the market. So, another dearth of money will be there. So, this is wrong. When government of India asks RBI to sell securities, now RBI monetary policy dependent on RBI, right? Government can only ask certain amount of money, surplus money. Not, there is no such um, jurisdiction so far as in detail voluntary policy. That's why it is separate and made, and made independent. So, B is the answer. Next, which scientist coined the term evergreen revolution? M.S. Swaminathan, right? M.S. Swaminathan, evergreen revolution. It was also asked in OPSC. Evergreen revolution. This year he has died. That's why this question becomes more relevant related to current affairs also because M.S. Swaminathan died. Which gas released in the environment from the blast of Nord Stream pipeline? Here answer is methane. Right. Methane is released. Nord Stream pipeline. B is the answer. Then the new Ramsar sites. Government of India has declared around 75 Ramsar sites on the eve of on uh, the eve of the Azadika Amrut Mahoshav, that's why what are Ramsar sites in India? On Odisha, Tampara Lake in Ganjam district, Hodakur Reservoir, on Supa Lake, there are the Sweetwater um, Lake, these are declared as Ramsar Conventions. We have Gaurimatha, uh, Gaurimatha Marine Sanctuary, South Kocha Tiger Reserve, these are also the. Uh, but these three are declared recently. So, Yes, based on fully current affairs, Ramsar Convention in order 1971, Iranian city of Ramsar to protect the wetlands of international importance, all the options are right. Then consider the following, uh, following prayers. 
sandy soil 85 so 50% clay sandy means more sand right so this is right sandy means obviously more sand so fast treatment is right clay will be less silt soil obviously maximum silt will be there this is right just by common common sense right just by etymological approach just by observing the two words then loam soil then loamy sand right here loamy sand is said so loamy sand means sand cannot be less this is wrong loamy soil this is see just two these two are so right, right? just know that these two uh, are right so question is are correctly uh, okay so one and four are right is there any option in one and one and four you may con get confused with two and three if one, there is only one, one option where one and four are right that is d so d is the answer right and this here in loamy soil 50 percent actually 50 percent sand and 20 maximum 27 percent clay in loamy soil this is the answer but even if you don't know the right answer just by observing the language also you can say that one and four are right so d is the answer the fastest singing city of the world singing city it is jakarta why because that's why government has changed the capital to jakarta to nusantara actually in russian government it has decided three years ago to change the capital that's why it is in news it is a current affairs just a second Okay. So this is next question. Which of the following gas is ozone depleting substances? Chlorofluorocarbons, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, methyl bromide, carbon tetrachloride. All these things are ozone depleting substances that question if you have read it from from that question from uh, Sankaraya's book if you have read all the options are right ozone depleting substances even if you just don't know these two uh, one and two these two are obviously these two are right so we have only two options three or four the so three is right in this three is right so there is no doubt that three is right whether carbon tetrachloride is a carbon tetrachloride is a ozone gas or not that is the doubt here all the options are correct next el nino means what in what happens when el nino occurs el nino usually warm water in the pacific ocean usually cold water in the pacific ocean usually warm water in the atlantic ocean and usually warm water in the indian ocean here answer is a el nino when warm water develops in the pacific ocean especially in the peru coast what happens warm water means temperature increases whenever temperature increases pressure decreases so low pressure develop in those areas so air from indian continent moves towards the Peru, Peru coast. So that's why monsoon get weakened. Right? When air from Peru to Indian continent comes, then our monsoon becomes strong. El Nino leads to low rainfall. This uh, A is the right answer. Okay. El Nino is very important question. They have asked it many times. Right? You may see the previous questions. In all the exams they have asked. The concept of following spares. Punch mercy or answer for the punch mercy it is an MP. Right? 
they hung they hung the bang they are the you know it is also a previous year question consumer it is in mp not in knowledge of this this is right they hung the bang it's all no, it is wrong madhya pradesh no this is actually in knowledge of this dibhu sayaga assam agastha malai tamil nadu and kerala which of the following statements are correct so these two are wrong means uh, yes these two are wrong one and two are wrong so here either it is three and four or four uh, it is three and four right agastha malai rudu malai agastha malai rudu malai agastha malai kalakal munda thurai they are all in tamil nadu right so three and four are the right answer tamil nadu satyam mangalam they are in tamil nadu which the following is a cold blooded species cold blooded species lion birds if species are not cold blooded reptiles are the cold blooded reptiles means it may be uh, some amphibians it may be snakes it may be crocodiles right they all are reptiles they have cold blooded animals d is the answer so it's a basic biology right the categorization next is the hotspots present in the indian subcontinent right himalaya indobarma western ghat and sundarland they have this question is asked in every exam right hotspot means where endemic species are seen endemic species means certain species are seen only in those areas high high biodiversity right so all the above statements all the above are right if you see the previous or questions of different pcs examination this question is at least repeated 7 and 8 times so all the are right all the question statements are right the extensions the extensive flooding in libya recently this one is news in september this is uh, the dali yes 5000 people are at least died in this uh, in this storm that is daniel storm right daniel storm 5000 people died almost uh, just last in last month it had it was in news B is the answer. Direct question. No analysis is required. Which the following uses gigahertz frequency for its operation? So TV remote do not require gigahertz frequency. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, microwaves, micro uh, microwaves. This requires gigahertz frequency. TV remote do not require. So one, two, three statements are right. high frequency right if you do not require so much high frequency which of the following statements carry blood in our body arteries veins capillaries and nerves so no capillaries means very small tube very small blood tubes nerves they are for energy that connects brain to different parts of the body so that they functions according to that they do not carry blood you can solve this by common sense also 1 2 3 options are correct the 1 2 are correct you know this you know those things 4 is wrong you know this also 4 is wrong at least you know you may be confused with whether 3 or if so even if any so any option where 4 is there that are wrong so 2 and 4 are wrong right next you can get confused between b or d capillaries are also in there also there d is the answer at least whenever you are eliminating two options i am just checking that whether it is possible to eliminate two options or not yes it is possible in this question which of the following are polar solvents polar solvents means they may possess some positive charge or negative charge that are called as dipole right and <coughs> polar sol uh, solvents here it is water alcohol benzene or chloroform chloroform actually this question is uh, uh, water has this polar polar uh, water water has polar forms alcohol has polar form and chloroform has polar forms so it may be one and two it may be two and four both the options are correct 
both the options are correct. So, they, um, if you are given 1 and 2, OPS will give you mark. If you are given 2 and 4, OPS will also give you mark. So, do not deliver those questions. Those questions which are, uh, when there is, which are there, which questions are not proper, OPS will give you marks. Do not worry about that. Then, which of the alloys below, which of the, which are the alloys in below list? Brass, stainless steel, platinum, or 20 karat gold? If you have a simple idea that there are two, two types of gold, 22 karat gold and 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold are the top level karat golds. That means in 20, 22 karat golds are there is something that is added to it. So that means some alloys are added to it. So obviously it is not the answer. This is wrong. <coughs> okay. Achha, alloys. The question which are the alloys? You know the brass is alloys. That you mix out two two things. It is also a mixture of platinum. So platinum is not alloy. Platinum is a original metal. This is wrong. So and 22 karat gold means something is added to that. So one to four will be the answer. One to four will be the answer. So, if so, even if just you know that this 24 and 22 and 24 carat two types of worlds are there, and the purest is 24, that means 4 is in the option it's alloy, and any option where 4 is not there, that is wrong. So we have only one option where 4 is there, so that is D. In such a question, always find what is the easy, what is right or what is wrong, then you can eliminate very easily. Which of the following involves joining two metals using heat, soldering, welding, brazing, molding, mold, batako ghumana, it is molding, that is called as molding. You just the meaning of mold, mold means what is what the meaning of mold. When you shape something different, batako ghumana or change the shape of the words, molding means changing the shape, right. Just by changing the shape, not the... Um, there will not be uh, in which of the involves joining two metals using heat. So two metals are not contrary. Molding means just you are changing the shape. So D option is wrong. And if D option is wrong, then anything raised to this raising means high temperature, welding, soldering, C or right hand. Metals using connecting two metals that is called a raising with high temperature. One, two, three are options are right. Which of the following, which of the given com computer components, items, use laser, CD, DVD, CD, DVD reader, mouse, copy drive and hard disk, where laser is used, laser is used in case of CD, DVD reader and mouse, so one and two options are correct, one and two options are correct, laser you have seen at present mouse, you will see the laser in the light in which the mouse functions, that is called laser light. Three DVD reader the function the level. Copy drive and hard disk. There, there is no lights. Is have you seen any light in the memory card? No. So copy drive the same hard disk. There is no lights. Reader, it's not CV DVD, it's CV read reader that reads the content. So obviously one and two options are correct. Then The greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, nitrox oxide and water vapor. What are the greenhouse gas? You know water vapor you may doubt but that is a the prominent what is all are the greenhouse gas gases. 
water vapor is the most significant greenhouse gas but it is essential as well that's why we are not considering that usually one we are not considering means we will cannot decrease it so one two three so one two three four are right greenhouse gas gases direct question from sankara's book then uh, from the list environment or even you, you read and set it is a direct question from the list of diseases given below the one that is caused by mosquito bites are dengue chikungunya diarrhea chickenpox mosquito bites we know that aedes aegypti mosquito that causes this dengue and chikungunya so one and two options are definitely right diarrhea it is a sanitation related issue so any question uh, next is uh, only one it is impossible one and two are there one two three diarrhea is not there anywhere that three we know diarrhea is a sanitation issue it is not a so three and four automatically emulated. So one and two are our answer answer. Right. For a given metal rod, the heat conduction from one end to another end is called a reduced by. Okay. Heat conduction. Can be reduced by increasing the length. Increasing its cross section area, drilling through holes on its uh, drilling through holes on its surface, drilling through hole from one end to another along its length. Heat conduction from one end to another can be reduced. How it can be reduced? If you increase the length, heat conduction. In a given metal rod, the heat conduction, conduction means that is transfer of heat, can be reduced by increasing its length, increase the cross section area, drilling through holes on its surface, drilling through uh, from one end to another end along its length. Yes, it is a practical question. So generally here uh, applied question, here answer will be um, 2, 3 and 4, 2, 3 and 4 will be the answer. Conduction is the process in which heat transfer from one, one part of a metal to another part. Then in a stave, in a stave of transformer, they have asked many questions from physics this time. Step up transformer, step down transformer. This is a previous question. Which of the following are false? Voltage is amplified. Step off transformer. Voltage is amplified. Current is amplified. Power is amplified. Electric charge is amplified. See P equal to V into I. Right. Step of voltage means generally volt and uh, in step of transformer high voltage low current which are false which are, which are the, it's false step of transformer means that is that is used in the substations where fast Voltage is increased, high voltage. We know that 11 kV, 12 kV, right? 11 kV volt, kilovolt, high voltage. So low voltage is in increased to high voltage. Why? Because if we increase the high voltage part, then current part will reduce, power remaining constant. And H equal to I square RT. If that's why it is actually because if current part will be more then heat will generation will be more that means everything will burn it will be wasted that's why always you will try that this i part will reduce b part will be there that's why we use type of voltage the question is which are false here voltage is amplified rest all are false so two three four is the answer they are false right next question this person will be observed for sunlight being this person is a common question it is also asked multiple times 
Probably or a trans, trans slab. Now this person is a phenomenon in which light passes through a prism. So this can never occur in the glass cell, glass slab. So it can only occur in prism. So three and four doesn't matter is oblique or normal stand. D is the answer. This person in which light light converts into different types. Light uh, get. into different types just a second into different types that is this dispersion means when sunlight that the dispersion different types that is the big view that is violet indigo red yellow all the types of lights when they incident on prism okay next question the gases that can be used for food preservation nitrogen oxygen and argon right here actually hydrogen sulfide that can be applied in for food processing but we have only three options. So most important we can see one, two, three are right. One, two, three are right. Which of the followings are not attracted by the magnet? Cobalt, nickel, silver and brass. Cobalt, nickel we know that it's a nickel, cobalt, iron they are attracted by magnet. We have read it in high school also during the cooling period silver can never silver and brass so three and four are not attracted by the by the magnet they are not magnetic substances we have magnetic substances and non-magnetic substances magnetic substance iron cobalt nickel are the most prominent next question is A bar magnet is shows four points P, Q, R, S in which points we have maximum magnetic field. It is an experiment. If you remember that experiment in uh, in the in the twelfth time, then you can know that in this P and R region there will be maximum amount of magnetic field, right? In P and R region, they have asked so much question from physics. The balance was uh, focusing on so B is the answer, right? At P and R, here there will be maximum magnetic field. Right, the compass will turn around here. N now the battery is connected to parallel combination of a resistor, inductor, and capacitor. No current flow through the capacitor. Actually, it is very minimum current passes through the capacitor. Maximum current will flow through the capacitor. No, maximum current will not flow through the capacitor. Okay. So the maximum current flow will flow through the uh, sorry this is question is slightly wrongly typed it is actually inductor maximum current will flow through the inductor yes in, in the combination where this inductor and capacitor and uh, resistance are there maximum current will flow through the inductor then voltage drop will be maximum across the capacitor among the three now, in case of seen parallel combination, voltage drop will be same, right? V is same, so it is it is not maximum. It is same everywhere. Parallel combination is like this. Your V is same. In series combination, charge is same. Your voltage drop will be same. Removal of capacitor from circuit won't affect the current flowing in the circuit. No, this is wrong, right? This will affect. So one and two options are correct. It is slightly difficult question you may find. One and two options will be correct option. Then which of the following are true specific heat capacity? True for specific heat capacity. See this is four eight one four. Here any two options are correct. Sorry, yes. Here four eight one four joule per kg. 
for degree Celsius. Here 4.1, see it is kg, here it is gram. So obviously 4.1. So if one is right, then B is right. If here one calorie per gram per here one kg here here one calorie gram per degree Celsius, here one kilocalorie kg per degree Celsius. So this all are right with respect to the specific heat capacity of water. So specific heat capacity means the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of any particular substance through 1 degree Celsius, 1 gram of a particular substance. That means if you take 1 gram of water, the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of that 1 gram of water through 1 degree Celsius is called as specific heat. So here all the op options are correct. GSM for peppers means grains per square meter, no, gram per square meter, gram per square meter. Packing density means mass by volume is called as packing density, right? The total number of uh, masses of the particles and uh, masses of particles the total masses of particles and the that is fact and yes so two and three options are correct regarding gram per gram per square meter okay t is the answer next the value of 10 to the minus 15 you may call it femto or for me anything angstrom 10 to the minus 10 these are you know this nanometer 10 to the minus 9 so for me or femto 15 so this is 1 and 4 common metric system anybody who has studied here physics i have made them written these things d 4 and 1 Next question, the unit ampere per current, ampere of current, um, it written dimension as ampere per current, okay, ampere of current I, I, volt for V equal to IR, we know that V equal to I into R, so volt per ohm, obviously equal to i then coulomb per second we know the q equal to i equal to q by t that is current equal to charge by time so this is coulomb charge unit of charge is coulomb and t is time so coulomb per second one to whoever so one to our right watt watt into second by volt watt means power power into second tt by volt power equal to w by t so pt means it is w w by v now this is work joule by voltage this is wrong this is not current whoever per square meter that is not current that is about the flux so one and two options are correct here Basic physics formulas. The largest train route of India spanning 4,154 4, kilometer to so eight states has been connected to Dibri Godasam is covered by which of the following? It is Vivek Express. Agents are Vivek Express. Okay. Duranto Rajani, they are moving from here Delhi to Odisha. It is Vivek Express. Okay. A is the answer. On the Varad Express are high street trains. World Book of Records in London has recognized as the largest tulip garden of Asia. Largest tulip garden. It is Indira Gandhi Memorial Tulip Garden. D is the answer. Next, the largest contributor to foreign direct investment in India, the financial 2023. FDI, FDI maximum comes from Singapore because of its liberalized policy. Many of the FDIs are coming from Singapore, right? Singapore, Mauritius, these are the top destinations of FDI. So, B is the answer. Japan, you know, Japan, France and China. Actually, other, even investments from Japan are coming through uh, Singapore road, right? Because we have tax treaties where taxes will be less, tax benefits. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ ग्रेडेड रेस्पॉन्स एक्सपन प्लान ग्रेडेड एक्सपन एक्सपन प्लान इट इज फॉर पॉल्यूशन ऑफ डेली इट वॉज इन यूज क्लैरिटी फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर सो टू इज द राइट आंसर टू ओनली इज द आंसर देर इज नो रिलेशनशिप विद द टाइगर इशूज राइट टाइगर कंजर्वेशन इट इज रिलेटेड टू पॉल्यूशन सी इन सच क्वेश्चन दिस टू आर टू कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट सो बोथ कैन नेवर हैपन राइट आइदर वन और टू बोथ कैन नेवर हैपन जनरली नाइदर आर वेरी परसेंटेज वाइज नाइदर नॉर नाइदर नाइदर वन एंड टू दिस वेरी लेस सो जनरली हियर वन और टू एमंग वन टू ऑप्शंस आर एलिमिनेटेड टू इज द आंसर डेली एनसर पॉल्यूशन टू आर्डर डेली एनसर पॉल्यूशन दिस ग्रेडेड एक्शन ग्रेडेड एक्शन प्लान is launched you have to complete it within within 2 hours that's why next question according to global live ability index 2023 report which of the uh, global live ability uh, yes 2023 uh, which city of World ranks as the most liable city globally. It is Vienna, right? Vienna is the most liable city, and we, it is it is released by Economist Intelligence Unit. And India has a rank of one forty one. It was recently news. Directly from Corona Affairs, A is the answer. The name of the first female astronaut to from Saudi Arabia. It is Rayana Baranui. Right is going in in a ISS mission, International Space Station. Already reached there. International Space Station is a uh, it's a space station by five countries: USA and Russia. USA. There is Canada. There is Japan. There is uh, Russia. There is uh, European Union. Right. These five countries they have made a International Space Station that is in low Earth orbit. And Rayana Varanvi is the first female astronaut from Saudi Arabia. Has joined it. The 15th anniversary of the World Environment Day, where it is celebrated, it is celebrated over in Netherlands. Current affairs, right? Directly from the headings of current affairs. Consider the following players: Angela Merkel, who was uh, okay, who has got which award? Angela Merkel was former chief of uh, executive chief of Germany, right? So UNESCO Peace Prize. Yes, she has got a UNESCO Peace Prize. Why? Because she has allowed the many refugees. That's why he has got. not not one single light of achievement award like then b kartikeyan pandyan fis president award and deepak chopra golden books award deepak chopra is a philosopher right and so here all the options are correct with respect to the awards how many cities are targeted to become three star garbage free by october 2024 how many cities are targeted to become Three star garbage free. Okay, it is a target. This was this was just in news under the Swachh uh, Bharat Mission. It is one thousand cities, right? See, two thousand cities. Cities is not a small number. Even if you target two thousand cities, means around thirty cities per uh, per state at an average. If we see, then we don't have that much of cities also. Two thousand cities is very big. So generally, one thousand. It is has been targeted. Initial target is always small. Next question. क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव यस 
इंडोनेशिया का अंडर सेवेंटीन वर्ल्ड कप उगांडा द तुलसी घाट रेस्टोरेशन प्रोजेक्ट ईरान टू होस्ट फुटबॉल 2027 एशियन कप क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट ईरान इट इज एक्चुअली साउथ अरेबिया नॉट ईरान इट इज साउथ अरेबिया तो थ्री ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग तो हियर वन वन एंड टू आर द आंसर डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर्स Next, which of the following, which of the following does not give us 17 goals ordered by United Nation? Okay, zero hunger, zero no poverty, zero hunger, goal to elimination of terrorism. No, no, terrorism is not mentioned in SDG goals. We have 17 SDG goals, very important. Every questions I have myself has written in. I mean, most of the students who have uh, studied here, current affairs, they all have written these SDG goals. Gender equality, it is coming under five. Education for B is the obviously the B is the answer. Okay, B is the answer. B is not in the 17 goals of SDG. In December 2022, there was released a list of the world most powerful women in which of the finance minister Sitaraman. It is directly from headlines. Question headlines. Rank 36. Sitaraman has been elected for was list 36. Then. मो मो जंगल जमीन योजना इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द फॉरेस्ट राइट एक्ट 2006 फॉरेस्ट राइट एक्ट फॉरेस्ट राइट एक्ट 2006 हैज रिसेंटली बीन प्रपोज्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट वेस्ट बंगाल मध्य प्रदेश उत्तराखंड एंड ओडिशा वेस्ट बंगाल ऑब्वियसली इज ओडिशा जंगल जमीन आई टू प्रोवाइड लैंड्स टू द कम्युनिटी लैंड टू द टू द ट्राइबल्स Right, forest dweller based on forest right act 2006. More jungle jami jodana. Ponam Wang Wang Chuk has been winner of the uh, which award? Right, directly from headlines. Santokba Human Rights Award B is the answer. Right, B is the answer. Directly from current affairs. Nothing to analyze. Which of the following is an important prehistoric site? Important prehistoric site. Yes, Bhimbet ka Bhimbet ka maintain it is in Madhya Pradesh. Three historic site there is paintings, famous paintings, Bhimbet ka paintings. Not all are deciphered. Megasthenes work, Indica Megasthenics. It is multiple times asked in previous year question. Indica famous as it is book written by Megasthenes. T is the answer. Then God Shiva. It's a common question. You can't say it's just a common question. Rudra is the one. Yes, Rudra is the initial name of Lord Shiva. Agni is different. Indra is different. If you have basic knowledge in mythology, then this is the answer. Rudra is the answer. Lord Shiva. Then who came to India from the Turkis? Just it is can be always best Turkis. Iran is Iran. Afghanistan from Afghanistan, right? Like Jada or Turanis? Turanis are from Turkis, right? So B is the answer. Turanis. B is the answer. Turanis are from Turkey state. Next question, we will see. Which river was the first to understand the measurement of the lands in the Delhi Sultanate? Aladdin Khilji. In this dimension, Aladdin Khilji has worked. Also, market reform. So, Gulaks they have worked for general irrigation projects. Right, Aladdin Khilji is the answer. Next. Question six. Which historian has attributed the decline of the Mughal Empire? Decline of Mughal Empire into Agrarian Crisis. This is a very difficult question, actually. Uh, Irfan Habib has done it. Irfan Habib is the answer. The Ikta system was a unique type of land distribution and administration system was introduced during the reign of Yes, Kutubuddin Ayyak, Ibrahim Lodi, Rajya Sultana or Il Tutmis. This question is a previous question. 
shortage of time after that we will discuss uh, you will see uh, the uh, c-chart questions so any question that is where analysis is not required i am just keeping those questions uh, without any explanation that are the fact based questions next is the grant of diwani 1765 gave the east india company the right to collect revenue yes right to collect revenue obviously it starts from bengal bengal bihar and odisha at that time uh, this region uh, Bengal, Bihar, and Odisha, D1 rights was given after the Hawking scam, after the uh, after the war of sorry, after the war of uh, Palasi, right? Battle of Palasi, then this is given. D is the answer. Next. The five notable Odia poets emerged during the which of the centuries? It is the late 15th and 16th centuries, or it is the 16th and early 17th century. It is 15th and 16th century, not the Pancha Sakha, right? The Pancha Sakha, Pancha Sakha came in 15th and 16th centuries. The especially because during that period, during that period, the uh, Bhakti movement in Odisha has started, right? So A is the answer, Panchasakha. Who was the, the who was uh, who wrote the book Economic History of India? It's a common question. It is uh, asked many times. Previous question: UPSC, SSC, RC Dutt, Economic History of India. Drain of wealth. It is written by Dadabhai Naroji. Right. We print another recent modern historians. Next partition of Bengal was formally announced. The date partition of Bengal was formally announced in 16 October 1905. Partition of Bengal was announced by Lord Karjan, right? So this moment also started after that. Who gave the slogan "Tum mujhe khun do, main tumhe aajaye dunga"? It is a very common question. Everybody of you. Um, it is Vijay Tilak Chandrasekhar Aja, Subhash Chandra Bose, or Bhagat Singh. Right. Bhas has given the Swaraj. Sansekar Adas belongs to revolution and terrorism, and Bhagat Singh also belongs to revolution and terrorism. HSRA was their organization. Next, who was the vice chairman of the Punjab Boundary Commission? The vice chairman of the Punjab Boundary Commission in 1949. It is Atli, Isme, or Lord Mount, or Lord Cyril Radcliffe. That's why we have Radcliffe line. D is the answer. Boundary Commission, right? Red Cliff Line. D is the answer. Atli was the Prime Minister at that time. Then consider the following pairs Detroit of India, Chennai, Paris of India, Jaipur. These two are right. Detroit of India, right? Paris of India, Jaipur. Ruhr of India, that means high amount of foreign, uh, the natural reserves. That is, it is Chotanagpur Plateau, right? This is Chotanagpur Plateau. Athens of India, it is Durgapur. No, this is Madurai. Athens of India, it is Madurai. Madurai is the Athens of India. It's a part of Satik GK. So this one and two options will be uh, so only two options will be right. B is the answer.
Odisha gold reserves in Odisha gold reserves are discovered on the bank of the Evi River, Sundargarh district. On the bank of the Kolab River, Koraput district, Tikira River, Angul district, everywhere it is right. All the three options are correct. All these in all three regions, gold reserves are found. With reference to the culture of Odisha, consider the following statements. Pata Chitra or Pati Chitra or Creative Arts. You can solve this question just by reading these things. How dance, you know, what if what dance are dance from this is right? Pata Chitra, these are art forms, Chitra. Sahara, Sahara, Sabara, Sabara tribes, you know that. These are tribal groups. So all the three are correct. Simple questions. Then consider the following names con uh, concerning the architects of modern Odisha. Sivutkal Gora, Madhusudan Das, Hare Krishna Mahata, Gujananda Patnaik, Guju Patnaik, obviously all the three are right. Sivutkal Gora, Hare Krishna Mahata is the first chief minister, all the three are correct. Architect of modern Odisha. Then during the Elino period, during the Elino period, the temperature rise is rapidly the, along the coast of Peru and Equator. I have already discussed in you know, Spain and France. Uh, it is one only, right? One only in Peru. In Peru areas, one only is the answer, right? Peru and Equator. El Nino. With reference to the National, uh, national Multidimensional Poverty Index, UNDP report, consider the following statements. The rural areas of India we trace the fastest, fastest decline from 32%. No, we do, no, do not have the 32%. Here it is 24 to 14. So fast it is wrong. It is this question. The you may see the, it is in PIV. The source is PIV. Also, All India Radio is very famous. Government has promoted these things. This achievement also. This news news was very much viral. 135 million people has escaped multi-dimensional poverty index. Yes, this is right. So two only is the right answer. Directly from current affairs with reference to <coughs> with reference to the SDG goals, SDG index 2023, the performance of India and its progress. Yes, sustainable development goal 10 and 15 are showing declining trend, sustainable development goal 11 and 13 are stagnating. 10 was about inequality, sustainable about 10 is inequality, 11 is about sustainable cities and uh, 15 was a life on land and 13 is a climate action. In this dimension, both the statements are correct here based on sustainable index. Both the statements are correct. Slightly detailed current affairs, it is a difficult question generally. Usually most people would not have answered it. T is the answer actually. Given below are two statements related to Indian population, select the answer from course given below. 2020 Indian's annual growth rate population is less than 1%. 2020 Indian's annual growth rate is less than, annual growth rate of population is less than 1%. Second is, with 17%, 766 population of share, India ranks number one in the world. This cannot be the reason, right? These both statements are correct, but this is cannot be the reason. What is our share in world population that cannot determine our population growth? So both the statements are correct here, but second statement is not the right statement of right second statement is not the correct explanation of statement one. Right. Then consider the following pairs. Question number 82. Chilika, salt water lake, also a fresh water lake, Sambar, uh, salt water lake, Ganjila lake, fresh water lake. Here all the four are right. All the four options are right. We have slight less of time, that's why I am going a little bit speed, wherever possible. Then consider, uh, consider the following pairs. Dolap, Winma, that is a dance form. 
Viti Chitra. So this is a Chitra. It's an art form. So this is wrong. Ghumura. Ghumura and Kakra Bitha. Kakra Bitha is question. This is right. So two is wrong. And Dora Purnima. Dora Purnima is obviously dance form. That is right. So uh, and next is Ghumura. Ghumura dance. Ghumura is a dance form. It is dance. This is not moral painting. So, who will be the right? So, it is answer is 1 and 4. Sorry, 1 and 3. Which of the following statements are correctly matched? Uh, are correctly matched. This is slightly. It's a conclusion question actually. Four is right. Kakra is a question. Uh, we know that. Chitra is not a festival. It's an art form. Bhiti Chitra is an art, art form. So only uh, Dolok, yes. See, this is right. Dolok Punyua is a dance form. This is right. Dolok Punyua is a dance form. This is right, and thus there is there is no four option, so only one right, only one is the option right. Kakrabita is a food, we know that only one is the answer, as there is no four option, one and four there should be the option. A is the answer, okay. The exclusion of following statement of Odisha. Odisha is known as the under different names in the different periods. Okay. That is calling out called an Odra Desa. This is right. We know that this is right. The Govardhan Pita Puri is one of the most famous. Yes, Govardhan Pita Puri. Or the Charadham. I mean, it is called Govardhan. The coastal point of Odisha is called as Penta Deltaic. No, this Deltaic region. Delta means Manadi, this Manadi, Brahmani. Deltaic regions. Five river Deltaic regions. This is called Deltaic region and coastal are different. So, this is wrong. So, one and two options are the right answer. Given below. Are the two statements related to mineral wealth of the Odisha? Statement 1 The comite, nickel, bauxite, iron, and the coal resources are respectively standard staggering 83%. Actually, chromite 93%. This is here 93 actually. This is of uh, the 93 or total reserves. Pre Cambrian metamorphic crops, major these uh, major Mesozoic rocks of Gondwana super crop, Archean rocks are the host of mineral resources of the Odisha. So, which of the following statements are correct? Here, both 1 and 2 are correct. Both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1. These are reserves and these are the types from which the minerals are extracted. So, both A is right. Next question. Consider the following statements about the river Indus. It flows through the only one state in India. It flows through Ladakh range and Karakoram range. Only one state. How? It is Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Haryana. This is wrong. So, which of the above statements are not correct? It flows between Ladakh range and the Karakoram range. Which the following above statements are not correct. It originates from Rakastal in Mansarovar. Yes. This is not correct. Uh, sir, this is correct actually. Ladakh and range. It flows into Ladakh and Karakram, that is right. Originates from uh, originates from uh, the Rakastal in Manyar Mansarovar. Uh, this is wrong. 
because it's Sibetan Plateau, or is it Sibetan Plateau? Bhiva River is one of the Himalayan tributaries. No, this is not Himalayan tributaries. It is, it is a tributary um, of Suleiman range actually. So, 1 and 3 are the answers. So, B is the right answer. 1 and 3 options are wrong. Questions which are not correct. So, B is the answer. Then, I the following cyclonic disturbances based on the increasing intensity and strength of wind. It is a very common question you can solve it very easily. See, we just know that this super cyclone will be better than cyclone, right? Increasing intensity means first will be cyclone, then super cyclone. At least, there, at least three will come after four. This is the only question where this so B and D, these statements are obviously wrong. Three will come after four. And 4 is the minimum, no, low pressure, then there will be obviously uh, low pressure is the first thing. After that, the more, more rainfall will be depression, right, Definitely just by common sense. Then there will be cycloning. After that, then very severe cyclone, then there will be super cyclone. Very severe cyclone, super cyclone happened in 1999. So, D is the answer, right. Which of the following statements not correct are respect of part B states in India? Part B states, these are the states are governed by chief commissioners. No. The initially before state reorganization act, before state reorganization act, we have these part B states, part C states, especially the princely states were called as part B states. Right. So, which of the following statements? Uh, uh, yes, not correct. The question is not correct. First is not correct. There was elected legislative. There was an elected legislature in each state. There are ten states as part of states. Yes. Uh, the question, the which are the not correct, right? The question is, which are not correct. So one is not correct. Yes, this is right. There are legislature in state after independence, everywhere there is legislature. The seventh schedule amendment, no, not seventh amendment. Remove the distinction between part and this is this is in state reorganization act 1956 that remove the distinction between uh, the state the part and part B states. So one and four is the answer. State reorganization are the answer 1956 based on Hazarali Commission. Okay, which of the following statements are not correct in respect to sources of Indian constitution? Nomination of members of Rajya Sabha, sources British uh, nomination of member of Rajya Sabha, advisory division of Supreme Court, which the question is not correct, this, this, this is not correct. So, this is right. It, this is this is correct. This is not correct. No mention of it is from Ireland. So first is wrong. Joint sitting of both houses parliament. Australia constitution. Emergency provision. This is Emer, uh, OMR constitution. This is OMR constitution of Germany. So this is wrong. So uh, one and four are wrong. So B is the answer. One and four are wrong. Joint sitting is from Australia, right? When there is no consensus between the two houses or there is deadlock, then we have joint sitting. Which of the following statements are correct? There are procedure established by law and deep process by law. Deep process of law is borrowed from USA constitution. And yes, this is right. Procedure established law is from Java constitution. Yes. On a deep process of law, court takes the law only to the extent that it has been framed by. No, this is not no only. This is wrong. It is also thinks whether justice is given to or not. Under procedure established by law, the law whether it is just fair, no, this, this is just reversed actually. Three in case of four and four in case of three. Both these are wrong. In case of procedure established law, only procedure is followed. If it is done in the right procedure, then the thing is right. But in case of due process of law, you have to also, while making the law, you have to also focus whether it is just. Justice, it is providing justice or not. That is the question. So, one and two options are correct.
मैं आज फॉलोइंग पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज उधर इयर्स ऑफ बर्थ आम आदमी पार्टी इट इज द मोस्ट न्यू न्यू पार्टी राइट ऑब्वियसली इट इज आम आदमी पार्टी बिलोंग्स टू वन बी वेयर वन हैज बी ओनली सी सो सी इज द आंसर इवन यू डोंट नो एनीथिंग अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन आम आदमी पार्टी इज द न्यू न्यू इयर पार्टी राइट तो एंड वी नो दर कांग्रेस इज दस्ट ओल्ड पार्टी दिस इज तृणमूल कांग्रेस सर दिस इज तृणमूल कांग्रेस यस बी इज द आंसर एक्चुअली वन बी टू डी यस ड्यूरिंग द राम जन्मभूमि मूवमेंट भारतीय जनता पार्टी बिफोर वी है बिकॉज वी हैव इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एट वी हैव जनता पार्टी गवर्नमेंट तो सी इज द आंसर then which of the following statements are not correct the aspect of comptroller auditor general of india article 148 cag comptroller auditor general of india the question is about not correct the office of cag deal with article 138 no this is 140 148 so this is wrong so next is the cag of india is statutory auditor statutory auditor of lok lokpal statutory is the statutory auditor of lok auditor of lokpal yes the um, reports of cag india discussed by public accounts committee 1971 cag of india was relieved from accounting functions no it is a comptroller auditor this is wrong uh, these two are right so one and four is the answer d is the answer right 92 d is the answer Which of the following statements are correct? Which is about judicial appointment commission (NJAC) National Judicial Appointment Commission. The NJAC came into being came into being by 97th Constitution Amendment Act. And the NJAC became a part of collegium system in the judiciary. Now become a part of collegium system. Now this is it. It was came to abolish the collegium system. came into being it is never came into being it is because njc national judicial appointment commission is uh, banned it is uh, declared ultra virus that is a violation of the constitution violation of constitution by supreme court why because njc was to appoint the judges and to remove this collegium system where judges appoint judges so judiciary thought that because there is a committee there will be a committee in which law member will, law minister will be a member and this their law minister means executive executive interference inter, 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 interfering in judiciary So this is all the same. This is the all the same. The basic structure of the Constitution or judicial inter independence. So that's why this is wrong. Supreme Court back the collegium system. No, this is Supreme Court back the collegium system. Yes, so yes, Supreme Court back the collegium system. See that shows that it is better than the NJC. NJC would have the would have involvement of the executive. Yes, I mean law minister will, is added will be added in the process. So three and four uh, are the right. Wrong are correct. Which are the correct statements? So three and four are the correct statements. B is the answer. Article seventy nine one twenty two of Indian Constitution deal with Indian Parliament. Which are the articles of the Constitution deal with parliamentary privileges? Parliamentary privileges. That means Article one zero five and Article one twenty two. Parliamentary privileges means during the whatever said by the member of Parliament that cannot be a question. In the court of law, that is one zero five, and at under Article one twenty two, when there is legislative process, legislature is going on. No, in civil cases, a member cannot be arrested. Any member cannot be arrested. Member of parliament cannot be arrested. That is the legislative immun 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 address power. That is called as parliamentary privileges. They cannot be arrested in civil cases. So one, this D and one twenty two and one zero five, they are parliamentary privileges. Which of the following statements are correct in respect of part I X of the Indian Constitution? The original part of I X in the Constitution was omitted by Indian Cost by Seventh Amendment Act. Just a second. Yeah, this is right. Next is the present. The present. Part of I X of Indian Constitution, later inserted by seventy, 
Third Constitutional Amendment Act 1992, this is also right, it's a very common question. 29 articles, no, it is only one article, 1, 2, 2, 2, 243, this is wrong. 240 also, no, it is not about panchas. There are various entries in that article, but one article only. So, 3 and 4 are wrong, only 1 and 2 options are correct. 73rd and 74th Constitutional Amendment 1992 during the period of Narasimha government it came, right, giving constitutional status to Panchayati Raj based on Balamantarai Mehta Committee. Which of the following statements are not correct in respect of National Panchayati Raj Day? National Panchayati Raj Day was celebrated in on April 26th every year, yes this is right. Parma Panisha Manmohan Singh, no, since, since the, when Panchayati has passed, 73rd and 74th Amendment passed, 1982, since that, so it is not started by Panchayati Raj Day. 13th National Panchayati Raj, no, this is not, because since 1992, just this is 2023, not 13, well, 30 years passed. The, this day marks awarding E Panchayat, this is E Panchayat award is given to village Panchayat, so one and four options are correct, okay. Next, which of the following statements are correct in respect of Panchayat Raj in United States of Jammu and Kashmir? Jammu and Kashmir has two tier system in Panchayat Raj. This is right. Jammu and Kashmir Act 2018 and December, yes. Act was amended in December 22. This is also right. Two tier, this is also right. Past election in United States. Actually, this is right. Three options is also right. But the thing is that there is no option like that. That is a doubt. So, one, two will be the, will be the answer here. Okay, this third, this is wrong. Last Panchayat was held in this year, 2016. Now, after that, this is impossible because we have elections recently. This is also right. It is started in November 20, November 28. So, one and two options will be correct. Which of the following statements are correct in respect of public order? The subject of public order is listed in concrete list. The freedom of conscience and does not come under the subject of public order. No, this is wrong. This is Article 19. Article 19, uh, clause 2, that's, uh, that's talks about public order. So, this is, uh, this is wrong. Are correct in respect of public order. The freedom of conscience, freedom of conscience. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Freedom of conscience means anything you can think. You can think anything, right? Whatever you can. So, this is not subject to public order. This is right. Maintenance of public order leads to preventive maintenance of public order leads to preventive intervention. Yes, if you want to maintain public order in certain cases, preventive intervention can be allowed. A person can be detained for three months mark maximum. After that, you have to take permission from High Court. A term reasonable restriction mentioned in Article 19 to comes under the subject of comes under the subject of public order, no, this, no, no, that include the subject public order, that do not come under the uh, public order, so two and three options will be correct. Law and order is a state subject, public order is not coming under concrete list. With reference to right to privacy considered in the following statements, right to privacy and personal liberty guaranteed in Act 21 of the Constitution implicitly includes right to privacy. The right to privacy is seen processing inherent value important for every citizen's basic dignity. Yes, basic dignity is enforced by right to privacy. Okay. The right to privacy possesses instrumental value is for the person's ability to life free of interference. Yes. One to three, all the options are correct. There is no traces of right to privacy in fundamental rights. This is wrong because one and four is opposite to each other, right? Right to privacy is a fundamental right guaranteed under uh, by K. Putasami judgment, K. Putasami Murder of Supreme Court. Right to privacy is a fundamental right coming under Article 21, that is protection of life and personal liberty. So, uh, 1, 2, 3 of, uh, is correct, 4 is wrong. So, this discussion ended here, and after that, there will be T shirt discussion, the paper 2 discussion. and Thank you for watching this. You may write any suggestions. 99 is skipped. Just, just a wait. Uh, 
ओके 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 सॉरी आर्टिकल थर्टी ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ओके गवर्नमेंट एड टू एनी एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन रॉन्ग बाई एनी रिलीजियस माइनोरिटी इज नॉट ए राइट नो इट इज नॉट ए राइट यू कैन नॉट क्लेम दैट गिव अस मनी इट्स नॉट ए राइट ओके राइट मीन्स इट इज योर डिमांड दैट मीन्स एनी रिलीजियस इंस्टीट्यूशन विल डिमांड दैट आई हैव द राइट टू टेक मनी फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट नो गवर्नमेंट विल रियलाइज दैट योर एजुकेशन टू इंक्रीज द एजुकेशन स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ रिलीजियस इंस्टीट्यूशन then they can provide certain of amount this is not a right next is it is completely on administrative decision it is completely budgetary decision the government is aid is a constitutionally guaranteed the government aid is a constitutionally guaranteed fundamental right no my it is no government aid can never be a fundamental right right government uh Never be a fundamental right. Okay, how aid means you are demanding. I will, I will get aid. I will get money from the government. It is my right. This is not a right, not your right. Government aid to minority institution is a matter of policy. Yes, it is an arbitrary decision. It is a matter of policy. How much money government will give to minority institutions? That is a matter of policy. The minority institution is allowed to say that the grant of aid should be on its own terms. The no. own terms will minority institution will decide that means x suppose a madrasa will decide or a religious institution will decide that how much money they will get according to their law government of india will function no government of india will function on its own law so obviously this is wrong so one and three options are correct options okay okay i think i have answered all your queries and next we will have a sisa discussion just wait few minutes after that it will be started thank you